So here we are, the last video of Pre-Calc 2, the second video for Section 9.3. And what do I get to introduce? The lattice rectum. Yes, that actually is a term that deals with a parabola. It's not one that you see every day. You're probably not going to see it much outside of this course. But, you know, it's sort of bringing up the back side of the course, so here we go. The lattice rectum of a parabola is a line segment that passes through the focus, intersects both sides of the parabola, and is parallel to the directrix. So suppose you've got your standard upward opening parabola, right? There's your vertex. Let's say this is the focus. The lattice rectum is a segment that goes from here through the focus over to the other side. So sometimes when we look for the lattice rectum, we're really looking for the endpoints. We're looking for, so to speak, that's xy on this side. There's another xy on that side. And it says it's parallel to the directrix because remember, if this thing opens upward, then the directrix itself is horizontal. It's a y equals something. So the lattice rectum will also go from left to right. If it opens sideways, then it's going to be the segment that goes like this. So basically, it's just the segment that goes through the focus. How do you find the endpoints? Well, you're going to need something from the focus, right? You've got an xy coordinate for the focus. So you're going to use that to figure out from the equation of the parabola, what are the endpoints there? So let's try one. It says, let's find all this information for the graph of 8x equals y squared. Well, all the ones we've done so far have been ones that go through the origin. And so this one is no different. If it's y squared equals 8x, then it goes to the origin. It's a sideways opening parabola because it's not, an x, it's not a y equals x squared. That would be up and down. This is x equals y squared with a positive value before the x. So it opens sideways like this. Right. So vertex is 0, 0. Now, if you want to find information about the focus, we're going to look at that number before the x. Right. So there's a 1 before the y squared. There's an 8 before the x. So 4 times p is equal to 8. If we divide both sides by 4, then p is equal to 2, which means that from that vertex, we're going to go 2 to the right, and we're going to go 2 to the left. When we go 2 to the right, that's our focus at x equals 2, y equals 0. When we go 2 to the left, there's our directrix at x equals negative 2. Right? So the focus is an ordered pair, that's 2, 0. The directrix is an equation of that line, x equals negative 2. Now, the endpoints of the lattice rectum. There's the lattice rectum. We can call it LR for short. It goes from a point here on the parabola to a point there on the parabola. Well, we know that x is equal to 2. So let's replace that x with a 2. So we get 8 times 2 is equal to y squared. Well, if 16 is equal to y squared, then square root of both sides, y equals plus minus 4. We know that the x-coordinate is 2. It would make sense then that the y-coordinate here is 4 because that's above the axis. And down here, the x-coordinate is 2. The y-coordinate is negative 4. So the endpoints of the LR are 2, negative 4. That's the one on the bottom. And 2, 4. That's the one on the top. So that's all it is. It's a segment that goes through the focus. You use the x-coordinate of the focus to find y-coordinates for the endpoints of the lattice rectum. If it went the other way, then you would use the y-coordinates to find the x's. Right, did I do everything I was supposed to? Let's see. We found the focus, we found the directrix, and we subbed in x equals 2 to get the endpoints. All right, let's try another one. So this is a y equals 1 half x squared, meaning it's an upward opening parabola. Vertex, focus, directrix, everything else. So if we start with a y equals 1 half x squared, remember that the equations that were given were in the form of x squared equals 4p times y, or conversely, y squared equals 4p times x. So you notice there's a coefficient of 1 in my equation written in blue over here. So the first thing is let's multiply both sides of this by 2. Right? So we get 2y equals x squared. So x squared equals 2y. That must mean that 4p is equal to 2. 
divide both sides by 4. We get p equals 1 half. So from our picture over here, we've got an upward opening parabola. Vertex is 0, 0. So I go up 1 half. There's my focus. So my focus, the x coordinate is 0, the y coordinate is 1 half, right? We went up 1 half. To find the directrix, we go down here to y equals negative 1 half, right? Go a half a unit down from the origin. That's my directrix. Now, lattice rectum goes through the focus over to the other side. So if the focus is 0, 1 half, if I put the 1 half in for y, I'll get out values for x, because that's what we're trying to find. We already know the y coordinates are going to be 1 half. What we don't know is what these x coordinates are here at the endpoints. So if I have y equals 1 half x squared, then I can replace the y value with a half. So a half equals 1 half x squared. Multiply both sides by 2, and we get 1 equals x squared. So x equals plus minus 1, which means that the lattice rectum has endpoints of negative 1 and positive 1, and the y values are both a half. So negative 1 comma 1 half, positive 1 comma 1 half. Those are the endpoints. All right, how about this one? Find the standard form of a parabola with a focus of 6, 0, directrix of x equals negative 6. All right, so that's all the information we're given, right? Focus is 6, 0, directrix is x equals negative 6. Well, if the focus is 6, 0, right, there's 6, 0. The directrix is x equals negative 6, so it's a vertical line back here at negative 6. Gives me a couple of pieces of information. First of all, halfway between the focus and the directrix must be the vertex. So the vertex is over here at the origin. Which way does it open? Well, when it opens, the vertex, uh, the focus is on the inside of the parabola, so it must open like this. Right? So now the focus is on the inside, the directrix is on the outside. Right? So it's a 0, 0. And we also know what p is. p, remember, is the distance between the vertex and the focus or the vertex and the directrix, depending on which way you want to go. So this is in the form of x equals a y squared of some point of some sort. And actually, it's in the form of y squared equals 4p times x. So I already know p. p is equal to 6. So that must mean the number before the x in this case is 4 times 6. Well, 4 times 6 is 24, so 24x equals y squared. Okay. We could also divide both sides by 24 if we wanted and get x equals 1 24th y squared. So in other words, this is a lot narrower than the way that I drew it. All right, what if the vertex is not at the origin? So all the ones we've done so far, the vertex has been at the origin. What if it's not? Well, here's an example of one that's not. So x plus 1 squared equals 4 times y plus 2. Okay, written like this, we can get some information out of this. So the vertex is going to be the opposite of each of the coordinates. So the vertex is going to be the opposite of the 1, so we get negative 1, and the opposite of 2, which is negative 2. Another thing that might be interesting is to see what this looks like. Is it a y equals x squared, or is it an x equals y squared? Well, it's a y equals x squared, which means it's going to open either up or down, like so. In fact, because there is a positive value, like I could divide both sides by 4 and make it a quarter x plus 1 squared equals y plus 2, then I know it's going to open upward because there's a positive before the x squared. So which way does it open? Upward. So if I want to find the focus and the directrix, we look at the number before the constant term. Okay. 
or I should say the first degree term. Number before the first degree term is four. And so if four P is equal to four, then P is equal to one. And so if this thing opens upward, if the vertex is negative one, negative two, then the focus is one unit above. So here it is at negative one, negative one. And that means then the directrix is one unit below here at y equals negative three. And then if you want the lattice rectum, then take that y equals negative one, right? Because the LR is going to go this way. So take that y equals negative one, sub it in and solve for x, which you can do, right? If I put a negative one in for y, two plus a negative one is one. So I get x plus one squared equals four times one. And then take the square root of both sides, x plus one equals plus minus two. So x equals negative one plus minus two. So either x equals negative one minus two, which is negative three, or x equals negative one plus two, which is one. X coordinate is negative three. X coordinate is positive one. The y values are just what we subbed in. Y equals negative three. So negative three, negative three, one, negative three. No, sorry, not negative three, negative one. Negative three is a directrix. There we go. Hi. Similar idea for this, except this one instead of x equal, instead of y equals x squared is an x equals y squared. Hi. So the first thing we can do is we can find the vertex. Opposite of the x is negative two. Opposite of the y is negative four. Hi. Next thing, if we want to find information about the focus look at the coefficient of the first degree term. So that must mean that 4p is equal to 12. p is equal to 3. Which way does this open? Well, it's in the form of x equals y squared. So that must mean it opens sideways with a vertex of negative 2, negative 4. So negative 2, negative 4. Over here is the vertex and it opens sideways. So a very rough sketch opens to the right because it's positive. If P is equal to three, this is negative two, negative four. So over here is the focus at X equals one, right? Three units to the right of negative two is positive one. Y value is negative four. What's the directrix? The directrix is back here, five, uh, three units behind. So negative two minus three the directrix is x equals negative 5. And then what are the endpoints of the lattice rectum? This may be the last time I get to say this in this video. They're all along the line x equals 1. So substitute x equals 1 to find the y values. Because that's what I'm missing. I know the x values, right? They're on a vertical line. I'm missing the y values. So y plus 4 squared equals 12 times x plus 2, or x is 1. So y plus 4 squared equals 12 times 3, oh, which is 36. Nice numbers. Square root of both sides, y plus 4 equals plus minus 6, and then subtract a 4 from both sides. So y equals negative 4 plus minus 6. So 1x coordinate, well, each x coordinate is 1. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. Negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10. So these are the endpoints of the lattice rectum. And then the other thing you could do if you wanted to was find the x and the y intercepts. This one's actually going to have two y intercepts. You'll find the y intercepts by making x equal 0. And then you can find the x intercepts by x intercept is only 1 by making y equal 0. All right, one more. How do you think we're going to solve this one? y squared plus 6y plus 8x plus 1 equals 0. Well, written in conic form, it could be anything. I don't think it's going to be a hyperbola because I don't see any negative signs in here. I also noticed that I don't have an x squared term. 
So if it were a circle or an ellipse or a hyperbola, it would have both an x squared and a y squared term. This doesn't. And that's one of the ways that I distinguish that this is a parabola and not one of the other three conic sections. So let's work with completing the square like we've done before. y squared plus 6y, leave a space, plus 8x plus 1 equals 0. So half of 6 is 3, 3 squared is 9. So add a 9 to both sides. And I get y plus 3 squared. Let's move the 8x to the other side. So I get negative 8x. Move the 1 to the other side. The 9 is already there for us, right? So we're going to do a minus 8x on both sides and a minus 1 on both sides so that we get y plus 3 squared equals negative 8x plus 8. Let's factor out a negative 8 on the left, on the right hand side. So pull out a negative 8, and I get x minus 1. And there's my parabola. If it's written like this, the vertex is the opposite of the x, which is 1, opposite of the y, which is negative 3. Then I can also figure out that this opens not to the right, it actually opens to the left, because there's a negative before that x minus 1, so this thing opens in the other direction. We can also figure out what the p-value is, right? If negative 8 is equal to 4p, then divide both sides by 4, and our p is negative 2, which really doesn't mean much. It just means it goes 2 left and right. And so let's make ourselves a rough sketch. This vertex is at 1, negative 3. We said it opens this way. The p-value is 2, so it goes 2 to the left. There's my focus. So my focus is at negative 1, negative 3. And the directrix is 2 units this way. So if that's 1, the directrix is x equals 3. And just for fun, we can always go on to Desmos and graph it. So I just popped it up on Desmos. And you can actually enter these things in directly, right? You can enter y squared plus 6y plus 8x plus 1 equals 0, and then it'll graph it for you. This point over here we said was the vertex, and sure enough, 1, negative 3, that's our vertex. It opens to the left, and it would make sense that the directrix is back here and that the focus is up in the front. And that's it. So thanks for being part of this course. Thanks for watching the video series. And best of luck in the end of the semester and on to calculus after this.